America. I must say, I'm surprised. What, to see me drinking? No, I'm surprised to see you home. I'm never surprised to see you drinking. I wanted to talk to you. Oh, how unfortunate. Had I known that, I would try to avoid being here. That's what I want to talk to you about, Monica. I want you to avoid me altogether. And I want you to avoid Susan as well. Why? Can't she defend herself either? No, she doesn't have claws like you. Well, she better learn to grow them if she's going to live with you. And in the meantime, you have no control over what I say or to whom I say it. You really don't care anymore, do you? You don't even care when it makes you look bad. You got it, Ellen. I couldn't care less. All I want is some civilized behavior, that's all. Oh, my God, you've got to be kidding. You have got to be kidding. Civilized? Hey, Alan, I have more on you than you could ever have on me, and I intend to use every tiny little bit of it against you and your Miss Susan Moore. Goodbye, Monica. I'm not listening anymore. You better, Alan. Is this a warning? You see, your indiscretions far surpass anything I've ever done. And that's why you're going to lose. You're going to lose everything. Do whatever you want. I'm leaving. <laughs> you uh, had better ease up. This isn't a competition. You... I'm trying to anesthetize myself. Do you mind? I don't give a damn, darling. Just don't make a fool of yourself no. in front of the host. <laughs> You're forgetting my darling little pauper. And I'm a good actress, and actresses never make a fool of themselves. Oh. Uh, I think I know who that is. Yes, I knew the dancing girls would get here eventually. Oh, I knew I forgot something. You got what? My toe shoes. <laughs> Isn't the brother here yet? Uh, yes, Luke is holding court right over there. Hmm. Oh, Ruby's with the senator. Oh, well, I'm yes, very impressed. Uh, I have a good idea. Why don't you follow me to the bar? Oh, that's a oh. terrific idea. Thank you. Ow. Well, it isn't very often that a community can be as proud as it is about two young people. I must say, I'm very impressed with the way you, Laura, and you, Luke, went forward with courage and determination. Oh, it was impressive. It just was a little hard on her poor old gray-haired mother. <laughs> Is it true that you were instrumental in nailing Frank Smith and his mob associates? Uh, well, that was a long time ago, and it, uh... Yes, uh, he did, single-handedly. Almost, almost. Oh, then I was right. This is not the first time you stuck out your neck for the community. Are you kidding? That's part of Luke's natural posture. He always leads with the chin. Well, it's a very admirable posture, particularly in a young man who wants to get ahead, and I'm sure that Luke does. Get ahead? I live for it. Well, the government is always looking for enterprising young men, and the government is not a bad employer. Yes, just ask the air traffic controllers. So, what do you say, Luke? About what, sir? To a career in politics. <laughs> Me? Yes, you've got what it takes. I've observed. Well, to tell you the truth, I never really thought of that. <laughs> There's no time like the present. Well, I don't know, Laura. How do you feel about being the wife of a politician? Uh, well, it's, it's an interesting idea. It's uh, very different from what I envisioned for it. Mm -hmm. Senator, I'm very interested in politics. Oh, well, you certainly do have the equipment for it, Michelle. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> Sorry, Senator, but she doesn't type. <laughs> He's probably a very happily married man. Well, what do I care? Marriages come and go, you know, but power like his lasts forever, darling. You are impossible. Oh, uh, so are you. And don't interrupt me again. I'll make a point of it. <laughs> Where did you prep, Luke? Prep? Uh, prep school. It's very important where one went to school, getting ahead. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose you could say I prepped on the waterfront. Oh, and where did you go to college? I didn't. You're talking to a poor boy, Senator. Well, that doesn't matter. In fact, it sometimes tips the scales with the voters. Oh, yes, I think I could understand that. Probably the voters could relate to a poor slob like themselves. Huh. Well, uh, tell me about your family. My family is here. Oh. Ah, good to see you, Bobby. Oh, and it's wonderful to see you. I don't believe you've met my Aunt Ruby, Senator Drake. Ruby. It's a great honor, sir. Have we ever met before? Oh, I, I don't think so. 
Well, I'd never forget a face. I'd... I'm very flattered, I but I... don't believe you've ever met Maybe in a campaign trip or fundraising well, or... I, I, oh, excuse me, I'm... Uh, that's quiet. Oh. Ah, now I remember you were stooping at the hospital. Yes. But you very nearly did a job on my shoes. No doubt the best shine you ever had. I would like you to meet my family, Senator. My Aunt Ruby and my sister Bobby, the Senator. You're very lucky. I know. Why don't we head down to the Versailles room? It's probably about time now, I think. Yes, yes, we shouldn't be late. Clever. Shall we? Yes. It's a fine champagne, isn't it? Mm. Actually, I prefer our own New York State champagne. Oh, yes, of course. You would. I think someone should propose a toast. That's an excellent idea. Ladies and gentlemen, I raise my glass to a young man who needs no introduction, who, like Lincoln, started from a simple beginning and went on to a glorious future. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. But I haven't finished. I, uh, I think we all get the idea. Mm -hmm. I'm very honored, sir, truly. But if you don't mind, I prefer to raise my glass to beauty, to dignity, to true class, to Ruby and to Bobby. I love you. Skull. Great. Mm. Uh, mm. Oh, excuse me. Think of when I've enjoyed dinner more than I have. Yes. Senator Drake seems to be in fine voice tonight. It seems that uh, young Mr. Spencer is traveling in lofty circles. Yes, and to think he owns it all to me. What do you mean, dear? Oh, nothing, nothing, darling. I was uh, just making a joke. Well, you'll stop by and say hello as we're leaving. Go <laughs> ahead, eat your flambe, darling, before it goes out. <laughs> Is it? Senator, have you ever been to Monte Carlo? Oh, yes, very often. <laughs> you know, but I bet we've probably been to a lot of parties together and didn't even know it. <laughs> we probably have. What line of work are you in, sir? Oh, do you ever go to the movies, darling? Oh, what is he? I heard the senator has a padlock in his wallet. I wish he had one on his mouth. I kind of think he sat through advising consent once too often. No doubt. Listen, how to go up the yacht brokers? Don't ask. You mean to tell me our problems aren't finally over? Yeah, problems are just beginning, and you know it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no. I can't take the girl anywhere. Oh. Don't worry. Did any good men know? Happens to everybody. Sorry. It always happens to me. I know, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Uh, we haven't finished our conversation. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought we had. Well, if you're st really still interested in politics, I think that we should perhaps one day have a little talk about um, your image. My image? Oh, yes. It's very important. Very important in politics, particularly. I believe you. It you is. certainly have the finest image money can buy, sir. So. Why did you kick me, dear? <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Edward, what are you doing here? Well, it's just taking my lovely wife out for dinner. You know Lila, don't you, Senator? Yes, of course. I never forget a lovely lady. Oh, you're very kind, Senator. Nice to see you. Won't you uh, bring up chairs and, and join us? Uh, no, thank you. We were just thinking, uh, have to get the uh, little woman home for her beauty sleep. <laughs> ah, well, next time you're in the city, give me a call. Right. We'll have some lunch. Ah, yes, definitely. Well, it was nice to have seen you all. Bye. Bye, Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Come along, darling. Bye. I understand you used to work for the Quartermains. Yes, sir, I did. How did you know that? Oh, I'm privy to all kinds of information. It's part of the privileges of politics. It must have been quite a learning experience working for the Quartermains. It certainly was. They're a very fine family. Yes, I could see how you would think that. About my getting into politics. Well, perhaps I was a little uh, premature. Why don't you... Uh... Come into the city and we'll have lunch. How did you... Just a lucky kiss. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, oh, no, no, please. Or you're in no position. Oh, I see. A little more of the old uh, privileged information, Senator? I was only going to say, why should you pay for it when it can be paid by New York State? All the more reason for me to pay for it. Thank you. You going somewhere? Yes. Well, shall I have your mail forwarded? Do that. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I really didn't think you had the guts. To tell you the truth, neither did I. But why would I want to stay here when there's a choice? Here's the door. <laughs> don't be too pleased yet, Monica. You haven't seen the last of me. Oh, I know that. Because we have our day in court. Forgive me for not kissing you goodbye. Sorry, I should have called. Just afraid to look. Is that really a suitcase? Yes. And you... Oh, and... oh, I've come and... to stay if it's all right. Oh, of course it's all right. Are you all right? I'm all right. It's going to take a little getting used to. Thanks. I'll do everything I can. You know that. I know. I know. It must have been very difficult for you leaving your family, huh? It was difficult leaving Alan Jr. is what was difficult. I want you to know I'm here because I want to be, not because I didn't want to be with them. I know. I know that. I'm here because I love you. And this is what we wanted, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, why don't you just go into bed now, okay, Mom? Luke and I are, uh, gonna be fine. Nicely done. <laughs> He's a slob, he's a snob. He took every opportunity he could get to put my family down. You know that. I think you are oversensitive about that. Maybe. But nobody slights my family. Nobody. Well, I could uh, name one member of your family who didn't present themselves very well tonight. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Laura? Come on, look, you were there, you know. So Bobby had a few drinks. So what? Look, Noah didn't care. His uncle did. So Bobby is not running for public office. Still, Luke, it's just that, see, the senator might be able to help you. Look, I don't need him. Baby, I don't need him. I don't need anybody like him. I know that. I know that, and I have a lot of faith in you. But... But I, we were counting on that money to sell, you know, from selling the boat, and now... Well, look, I know that, but give me a break. We got, we got $50,000. That's a lot more than we ever had before. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, why don't we continue this conversation after we're married? Couldn't we talk? A little bit of the conversation before we're married? Just a little bit? No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. When does this damn decree get here? I mean, when? Do you know? A few days, a few days. A few days, fine. Okay. 
I'll wait. And just as soon as it gets here, we'll be married. You got it right. Thank you for a lovely evening, Mr. Spencer. My pleasure, Ms. Baldwin. Weber. Weber. Thank you. Oh, boy. What is this thing gonna get? What is this gonna get here? 